Hi, here's Chris with a new video for professional artists. Today I show you how to create light layers in Blender's compositor. My technique is quite similar to light mixers you may know from other software solutions. You can do the following. In my light layers group here you can increase for example the intensity of lights like this one or the ceiling light or the wall light. You can decrease the environment light if you want so you can do this effects and you can colorize the lights by using this color information here for example. And you can if you want overexpose or over brighten an image and all this with this group. And if you don't like the result, you can even use a denoiser group where you get better results for your images. So let's see how this works. Okay, let's see how this technique works. Before I use the light layer group, I tell you what you need to do this. First, you need multi-layered EXR files. Why multi-layered? You can also use, of course, single layer files if you want, but I have used multi-layered files. Why? Because I've saved all these images here, the bitmaps, into one multi-layer EXR file. There I have the noised image, the albedo version and the normal version uh, that is used for the denoiser node. So all these three images are included in one EXR file. So I have rendered this image here, the background, I've rendered this light and I've rendered the ceiling lights and I've rendered the wall here, this wall light, okay? Important is you render just the light or the lights you want to control. All remaining lights have to be switched off. So let's look how I work with these lights. So here we have the result. This is the light layer group and let's see what happens inside the group. We go inside the group. So what we are doing, we have here the input sockets and we have just mixer nodes. Every two of these nodes are related to one layer. So for example, my background image uses this nodes here and the layer one image uses these nodes. So how does it work? The first mixer node is the multiplier node. What I use is I take the bitmap, plug it into the uh, into the first layer of the mixer node and then I use, I use the color information, this here, and plug it into the input socket. So the user can control the color outside of the group, okay? Then I take a second mixer node, it's a um, uh, mix node with the blend mode add, this one has multiply, and the second mixer node um, mixes the color or the light information of our background with a black mat, okay, with a black background. So this is the reason why uh, this node is just black. And here you see in the overlapping layer we have the result of our first mixer node, it's coming here in. And the factor here, it's connected outside to this input socket and is the exposure for the first layer. So what we actually have is free information, the bitmap, the color information and the exposure that is connected to the factor here. The same for every other layer. So if you want more layers, you make more connections. And the next is we take the output of these two nodes and plug them into the input of the next add node. This intensity node is the same that like this one, but the result is going here into the first layer. And instead of using a black color, I use the result of the background and add the light information that comes from my second or my first layer here, the, my, my first my first light. In my example, it's a furniture light, okay? The furniture light uses the same technique like this here. It's a mixer node and the, the light or the bitmap is going into the first layer and the color information is here, so you can colorize it and the factor is always one and you make a multiply blend mode to do this. And then you get the result and plug it here into this node. The same happens here for the second layer or the layer two and the layer three, all is the same, okay? And the last uh, layer or the last layer you have, the result is going out of our group into the output image here into the output. This is all what is happening here inside the layers group, okay? So I go back 
Now we have another node, this one here, denoiser. Um, actually, the denoiser node is uh, very easy. I've just put all the needed uh, nodes into one group, so it's easier for the user to, to work with. So I go into this group again, and I show it to you. There's no magic. It's a regular denoiser node and a regular mixer node. What do I do? I take my noised bitmap uh, result and plug it into the mixer node here, into the first layer. Then I take the denoised result and plug it here into the mixer node into the overlapping layer. And I use a factor here to control the noise intensity, or if you want, the denoised intensity. So the user can decide how much noise uh, uh, the user wants to see. And uh, in this case, you can uh, increase your realistic uh, realistic amount. So some people like a little bit of noise and they control it. So, and we have here just the image, the noised image, the albedo version of this image and the normal information for the denoised or the noise data. And all this information is going here into the denoiser node. So it's nothing special. And the result is just going out into the image. So this is what I do here. And with this um, technique, I can now switch, for example, the denoiser uh, nodes on and use the complete denoising results. And now you have a very nice image because all is denoised. And of course, you can do here and change the denoise information. So we have a bit, a bit more noise and looks a little bit more interesting. And if you want, you can as I explained, you can use low values. Uh, for example, you make the background darker. I will I will mute these notes here so we can so we can see faster results here. And now you can, for example, colorize the background a bit with a blue mood. So we have a, a kind of night uh, mood. Then I can switch, for example, the layer three. It's uh, the the wall light. So here we have it. And you can switch it on and say you can uh, you have a blue a blue light or whatever or this one and you take a factor of three so it's a little bit more brightened and if you want you can of course add some more information oh i make it blue i like blue blue is nice and you can add some more information here and of course you can use a different color if you want to make it a little bit warmer for example and so on and all this information can be of course animated if you want and if you like to work with complete animations and not with, uh, let's say, um, I make some denoise here on. Okay. If you want to work with animations, then you have to use not single images. You have to use image sequences. If you move a light, for example, then you should have this image sequence that is going here into this complete workflow to use this. Okay. Yeah, this uh, is uh, my solution for using light layers or light mixers. Creating such kind of light layers inside of Blender's compositor lets you save a lot of render time. All light setting can be made in about real time and with final quality rendered images. And if needed, you can even create complex light animations with this technique, because every node, as I explained, in the compositor can be animated. I hope you like this small tutorial for professionals and you subscribe my YouTube channel or visit my shop on Blender Market or Gamroad to support me to create more of such free videos. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.